Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own fudge. We're going to be making it in a microwave, and we're going to be using condensed milk. Open up the can, and pour it into a mug, about halfway full. I'm going to add some flavour, using chocolate. Break up a few pieces, and put them in the mug. And I'm also adding a little vanilla extract. Give it a quick mix. Then put it in the microwave for a minute. Then give it a good stir. And put it back for another 30 seconds. Whilst you're waiting, you can take a dish and line it with some greaseproof paper. You need to be very careful that your mixture doesn't boil over the top of the cup, so keep checking it. Take it out. Give it a stir. And put it back in the microwave for a short while. We need to keep repeating this process over and over to thicken up the mixture. You need to be careful because it's so hot and don't let it boil over. After it got really hot, I was putting mine in for about 10 seconds at a time. But as it starts getting thicker, you can leave it in there for longer, because it doesn't boil over the cup so easily. And of course, it depends on the power of your microwave. You need to keep repeating until it's a nice thick consistency, like this. Then it's ready to pour out into our dish. Try to make sure you get all of the mixture out of the cup. And spread it out as evenly as you can. Let it cool down and place it in the fridge for about an hour. You can make yourself a nice small portion by pouring just a little bit of condensed milk into your mug. And for this one, I'm going to add a nice big spoon of peanut butter for flavour. Give it a bit of a mix, and put it in the microwave for a minute. I lined this small ramekin with baking paper, and after a minute it was thick enough to put the mixture straight in. and leave it to cool with the other one. After an hour or so, take them out of the fridge, and you should find it's set nice and firm. Take it out of the dish, and peel off the greaseproof paper. And slice it into pieces with a knife. It should be nice and smooth, and quite firm. You can display them nicely on a plate, and they look and taste fantastic. The peanut butter one should peel off the paper pretty easily, and you can cut it into quarters. This one is a beautiful golden colour, and you can see the nuts. You could experiment with different flavours, like cappuccino, peppermint, or maybe rum and raisin. Do try to make sure it doesn't boil over the cup when you're making this. 
Maybe use something larger like a bowl. And make sure the mixture is nice and thick before you leave it to set. Because if it's too runny and you spoon it into the dish, you'll find even after it's cooled it's not properly set and it's still a bit gooey. If that happens you can scrape it back into the mug and microwave it again until it thickens up properly. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun and as always, thanks for watching.